Hello, I'm Donald McIntyre, founder of Etherplan, and this is my presentation about scaling and blockchain governance. Introduction. Humanity scales and expands building platforms, trust minimizing systems, dividing labor, reducing transaction cost, using the price system and conducting commerce globally. Blockchains are simply a continuation of that pattern, so we need to make sure we design their governance by understanding their underlying principles and maintaining their protocols according to those principles. Topics of this presentation, history, identifying the pattern, diagram, modeling the pattern, what are the principles for blockchains, conclusion, credits, and suggested reading. History, identifying the pattern. It all started in Africa. Land, air, rivers, and oceans are trust-minimized platforms. The analogy to blockchain is that Although we can partially manage them, they have remained largely immutable over millions of years. In other words, we can depend on them. Then we migrated everywhere. The first tools helped us increase productivity. Shells and other artifacts of wealth were the first monetary systems for trust minimization of value transfer and enabling primitive systems of commerce. We built the first civilizations. The civilization model helped us increase productivity coordinate better, and provided a more secure environment for development. We created empires. The empire model and its more advanced scaling systems helped us expand security and coordination in extended spaces and across vast populations. But we were conducting commerce all along. The Silk Road was not controlled by any one group, culture, or empire, so it allowed commerce and the flow of information on a decentralized platform for millennia. Then we navigated the world. New technology allowed even more productivity and thus scaling to a global level. And we tried global trading empires. But this model was eventually dissolved because it didn't scale due to a lack of local knowledge, which means the lack of adaptation to its diverse population's needs. But we also created democracy. However, strong democratic, democratic values, such as the integrity of property and liberty, are not evenly spread. So this is our distribution today. We successfully, we successfully scaled to 7.5 billion people. We are projected to be 11 billion by 2100. However, we are divided in national silos. This means 190 jurisdictions and borders, which create 190 barriers, therefore increased transaction costs. And national silos are grouped in cultural clusters. This means 10 ways of interpreting the integrity of property agreements and what is good and what is bad, which likely makes development uneven. We can do better by trust minimizing systems further. But we still have a high incentive to trade globally. Commerce is a significant driver of human history. So we travel for tourism and to make deals. The airline travel platform is a good example of how to fur further reduce search and negotiation costs. We also wired the world. This is the origin of global telecommunication systems to reduce transaction costs. And we created the internet to connect even better. The internet significantly increased decentralization. So now we socialize and share globally. These are the first generation peer-to-peer -peer networks, but they are largely controlled by trusted third parties. We built a global ledger that crosses all boundaries. Bitcoin is a significant step forward in decentralization, trust minimization, security, globality, and immutability. And a global computer for property and agreements. Ethereum is also a significant step forward in trust minimization, security, globality, and immutability, but in this case, for smart contracts. Diagram, modeling the pattern. As humans, we have goals, for example, to reproduce, procure food, obtain shelter, grow as a species, and to achieve all our goals, we scale. And to scale, we coordinate. Some of our co coordination strategies include platform building, trust minimization, division of labor, reduction of transaction costs, the price system, and commerce. What are the proposed principles for blockchains? One, trust minimization to reduce the reliance on trusted third parties for processing transactions and posting programs and smart contracts. Two, immutability. Accounts, balances, and contracts cannot be modified on the public blockchain except 
by holders of corresponding private keys by entering transactions according to protocol rules. Fungibility. Native tokens must all be the same and interchangeable globally. 4. Finality. Transaction costs and executed contract code cannot be reversed once posted on the blockchain. 5. Censorship resistance. As long as they are entered and compliant with protocol rules, transactions or contract code cannot be prevented from being posted on the blockchain. 6. Permissionlessness. As long as they comply with protocol rules, anyone from any place in the world can create accounts, contracts, enter transactions, and participate in the network as a node operator, miner, validator, user, or any other prescribed capacity. 7. Tamper-proof transaction history. The blockchain, which contains all transactions and contract history, cannot be modified post facto, nor balances or code modified retroactively by anyone. Auditability. As transaction history is tamper-proof and immutable on the, block on the public blockchain, it can be analyzed and reconciled by anyone. Reconciliation. Transaction and contract history must match mathematically to the latest and all future states of the blockchain. 10. Principle of least authority. Developers, miners, validators, node operators, and all kinds of users might, must limit their participation to practicing only the functions of their roles. They must make sure they collectively decide and implement future changes to the protocol in accordance with these common blockchain principles. They must not engage in other activities at the protocol layer such as law enforcement, funds recoveries, or any other moral, ethical, or legal considerations which otherwise correspond to higher or social layers. Conclusion The pattern of human development is to scale by creating coordination platforms, trust minimizing systems, dividing labor, reducing transaction costs using the price system, and conducting commerce globally. The most advanced system that we have creating for making this possible is democracy, but that governance model deals with the organization of social systems. Blockchain governance deals with the organization of complex protocols and highly technical systems. It is a risk to their integrity to simply mimic participatory democracies or community voting to design and maintain blockchain networks. We need to strive for a system that ensures a sound technical decision-making process and makes sure it upholds the highest principles-based, scaling-focused trust minimization standards. If not, we may import and recreate the flaws of traditional systems into global decentralized blockchains. Credits and further reading. Thank you very much.